Hello, everybody. My name is Mara Lida, and I work with Thai Global. Thai is an international network of worker and union activists that operates in multiple countries, including Brazil. Here in Brazil, we work with two networks, the Vida Viva network, which involves workers from different sectors, and the Orange Juice network. The Orange Juice network organizes workers along the orange juice production chain. It has been existing for about five or six years. Here in Brazil, we organize workers in the rural sector, that is on orange plantations, and in the industrial sector, in the food processing industries. We also connect these workers with workers from the retail sector in Germany, where we have a partnership with the union Verdi. The work that we have been developing now for a few years already aims to promote effective change in the living, health and working conditions of workers along the entire orange juice production chain. It is important to note that we are talking about a production chain that has a very high level of precariousness and especially in the rural sector on the orange plantations. Our activities in this sector aim especially to bring the workers closer to the unions so that they can together build actions and develop strategies to change their reality. To this end, we have developed a capacity building process in which we collectively construct tools for workers and unionists to evaluate their own conditions and identify problems and develop demands. And we promote international exchange on this. One of the tools that we work with are the workplace and health mappings. These mappings are a participatory research tool that allows workers to identify work-related problems that are affecting their health, to identify the causes of these problems, and also to develop concrete demands based on their own experience and knowledge. In the rural sector here in Brazil, it is very difficult to mobilize workers. Farms are often located in a distance of 300 to 500 kilometers from each other, and hence workers are located far away from unions. For this reason, we developed an app through which workers can send information about workplace problems directly to their union. This communication channel allows the union to get closer to workers, to be more present, and to react more quickly when there are workplace problems, and to find a solution. We also created a didactical game that touches up on various problem areas that workers face, um, such as um, problems with agrotox agrotoxics or pesticides, um, and precarious working conditions in general. In this way, by playing the game and having fun, workers develop collective learnings and they discuss the problems that they are facing in the workplace, mainly because of pesticides. We have also developed several tools in the network, but the most important thing to highlight here is the participatory process that underpins all the tools that we use and develop. Our aim is to create collective spaces so that the workers themselves, together with the unions, can articulate demands based on their own experience and knowledge and use these demands to change their own reality for the better. This is a very important initiative. Um, we are aiming to build a grassroots model where unions directly dialogue among themselves. Um, and that is not only in Brazil, but internationally, because we also try to build a south-north relationship in which workers in Brazil and Germany together evaluate their conditions and discuss proposals to change their own reality and conditions. I hope that I have given some insights into our work and that we will have the opportunity to answer any doubts or questions that you may have. Thank you very much for the invitation, and I hope to be with you soon to be able to deepen this experience a little more.